essentially, you start building a ladder. You build a ladder from here, and you try to get up to here. Admittedly, you may not reach the top, but you have to try. So you put up the ladder, and some guys may get up to rung number eight, and other guys may get up to rung number four, but this is the human project of attempting to better oneself and ascend toward the divine. It occurred to me that Christianity rejects this. That Christianity basically is based on the idea that, yeah, you can build a ladder, and one guy can get up to the eighth rung, and the other guy to the fourth rung, but none of that really matters because neither of them is going to get very far. They're still too far away from where they need to be, so the whole project becomes a little bit of a hopeless enterprise. And then comes the kind of Christian boom on that, which is that the only way to sort of bridge this gap is to, is to bridge it from the other side. In other words, God has to descend or condescend to us. And that's the only way to bring these two planes together. And so then I realized that this is the sort of incredible, scandalous claim about Jesus. Jesus is God's man for the job. Jesus is the, is the sort of deputy that God dispatches into the world to close this gap. And then I re thinking about that, it occurred to me, this is so strange, because under normal rules of justice, people are rewarded or punished for what they do. You kill the man, life in prison. You robbed the grocery store, 10 years. <laughs> Dinesh, you committed campaign finance violations. Mandatory psychiatric treatment for you. Eight months overnight lockout. It's based on what you did. <laughs> and Christianity sort of throws the scheme out the window. Christianity basically declares everyone's guilty. Wow. So if everyone's guilty, how does everyone escape? <laughs> Punishment. And the answer is even more unbelievable. Essentially, you escape punishment by admitting you did it. By accepting responsibility. By saying, yeah, I, I don't deserve on my own salvation, which is then offered as a gift. So this is the radical message. You have to sort of digest how radical it is to also then realize that hell, 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 hell. it is, it is, I think, objectively viewed the only solution to that human problem that would actually work. If true, it works. The other solutions don't really work. There are attempts, but at the end of the day, you throw up your hands. And um, <laughs> and so, about 2007 or 8 is when I first noticed these kind of new atheists coming on the scene, alluding, kind of yeah. attempting to shake the faith of young people. Not love mama anymore. Young people who, by the way, were typically not well prepared for that type of attack. And so this is how I got into the, the <laughs> business of debating these leading <laughs> apologists, these leading atheists. Uh, but doing it in a very different way than tipped 